CTF 900 back in the shop because the left channel started cutting out. I will add into this video the diagnostic to determine what the issue was. These units that were produced in the late 70s are fairly simple inside from a circuit board standpoint. This one had been recapped and one of the capacitors, when the uh, replacement was done, uh, developed a or had a cold solder joint. Now, that, what that means is that when the uh, shaft of one of the capacitors, one of the, one of the two legs of the capacitors was going through the board and was uh, soldered in place, that either there was not sufficient flux to ensure uh, a good connection of solder to that leg or it's possible that it was moved before the solder had completed um, setting up or, or cooling. So what I did was I reflowed solder on all of the capacitors that had been replaced on the motherboard. And I also checked the control board as well there were a couple of capacitors that didn't have a lot of solder around their legs, so I added to it. So this is the test tape that I'm going to ship back with this unit. Uh, this is side B, and I'm just going to record and then play a selection. And there you go. It's uh, recording and playing back perfectly well on both channels. Um, I'll uh, include, as I said, other information in this video. I found the problem. So listen. Can you tell? That is a cold solder joint. And although they did a really good job on this, that's the problem.